Hello everybody. Today I am going to demonstrate the expense reimbursement feature of Odoo 9. The expense reimbursement can be used by employees to enter their expenses in a weekly or monthly manner and then get reimbursed by the company. Alternatively, the finance or the purchase department can enter PT cash expenses into the system which can go directly into the expense ledger. I'll go into the expense menu to record expenses. To record my expenses in the my expenses menu, I'll click on create. But before recording expenses, it is imperative that we create expense categories and products within the system. To do that in the configuration section, you could see a menu called expense products. Go to expense products to configure products. Let's see an example of an expense product here. Now for expense product, an imperative thing is to check the box can be expense. Once this box is checked, then only it will appear in expenses. It can be configured as a service, stockable or consumable. However, it is suggested that you configure it as a service primarily because it will not create any kind of stock movement in the system. Okay, You can configure if there is a fixed price of cost and sale price for these expenses. I click on save. Similarly, you can create more kind of expense categories. To create expenses, I'll go to my expenses menu. Click on create. I choose a product, car travel expenses. I enter the price. If there are any taxes that are applicable, I can choose the taxes. By default, the employee would be chosen. I can change if I am entering the expenses for some other employee. I can choose the date. The system will by default take today's date. Now based on the access right that is given to you, the journal entry would appear or not appear. For a normal employee with basic access, this expense journal will not be applicable and he would not be able to enter expenses for some other employee. Now the system has calculated the total. The system gives us option whether this has to be reimbursed to the employee or this has to be booked as a PT cash expense of the company. We can choose both option. If we choose payment by company, then we need to mention how did we make the payment either by cash or either by bank. This helps us to record the journal entries or the ledger entries for bank, oblique cash and vendor bills as well. Let's choose it as a company and submit it to the manager. Let's create one more expenses before submitting it. Now once this expenses have been submitted, it is possible to attach the bill. So a lot of companies would ask you to attach the bills. The bills could be attached. I can click on the document. Click on create and attach a file. hotel voucher I can go back here and the system will show one document has been attached 
to this particular expense. Now once these expense have been submitted, we get some shortcut buttons here. So for example, these expense have been submitted. The manager of the employee would review the expenses once a week or based on uh, whatever is the frequency to reimburse the expenses to the employee. He would select the expenses if he finds everything correct. Then he would be able to submit the expenses together or he can go inside and approve it. It is also possible to print these expenses right from the top from this button this will give details of a particular expense as you might already be aware that Odoo allows us to have social network for all the modules where each and every status and changes done to a particular form would be recorded at the bottom as far as manager is concerned it is possible to view only the expenses that he wants to approve to do that he can click here and see all his expenses. It is possible to group and filter these expenses by employee, by expenses month and specific product. This gives a good analysis to the manager on what kind of expenditure an employee is uh, making uh, for say trips or uh, for selling purpose. It is possible to review and analyze these expenses over a period of time based on various factors such as month, such as type of product, such as employee, department and so on. To do the same, you can go to the reporting section. The system allows us to have flexibility in terms of the X and the Y axis that we choose. For example, it is choosing total here. I can group it by employee then product so as you could see in the month of june 2016 the employee named peter parker has spent 700 dollars on air flight 50 dollars on car travel expenses and 4000 dollars on hotel accommodation as the data grows this would become more suitable for analysis for analysis purpose it is also possible to view the data in different forms for example, this is a table form. We can see graphs. Within graphs, we have option for pie chart, line chart. We can also see in a tree or list view. And of course, we can see it in a Kanban view. Okay. So in this way, expenses can be managed in Odoo. It's a very simple way to manage the expenses and based on the requirement the access rights can also be modified to suit the suit your company's needs so that's all for today thank you